today i'm going to talk about a very interesting topic very hot topic i think all you are very familiar with this word entrepreneurship or entrepreneurship whichever you say it it's basically a process where you learn nurture your ideas and convert into business it's basically a process the idea can be very small idea why entrepreneurship is very important in today's time and who can be potential entrepreneur and why entrepreneurship is very very important in present day that we need to understand to understand that you need to understand also the socio economic system lot of young guys many good minds have lot of innovative ideas those ideas has to be channelized friends any system any education system or any government is not able to provide you the required job though our constitution demands that the basic necessity has to be given but no constitution is guarantee you a job specifically the country like india where you have 135 crore people you have to feed now government is not in a position to offer job everybody even realistically if you see it how many jobs government offered out of 135 crores even if it is not below 3 4% even less than that and how many out of them are tax payer out of 135 crores you need to see it's very negligible percentage of people now the question is the young people who are students who are coming out from the university colleges engineering college medical whatever profession like no they are passing out from different subject either from painting institute designing art culture various fields now entrepreneurship can help you if you have your hidden talent and if you feel that you have any idea that can be nurtured and can convert into business and this you this is directly going to benefit you and also whoever is working with the system and it will be benefited like no the as a whole the society no business school is going to teach you how to do business wherever you go you go to stanford all business school like no all iims all those places or management school wherever you go the big school they can only give you certain understanding of running a business but having an idea and nurturing them and converting into business you need to have 
something down the line ready i want to highlight few points from the life of albert einstein he said many times follow your curiosity and the perseverance is priceless third thing focus on present the imagination is powerful make mistakes in life create value don't expect different results knowledge come from experience and learn rules and then play better now if you take whatever points i told whatever philosophy einstein used to follow the main objective is to concentrate and channelize your idea if you want to be successful in life your idea can be single idea and you need to stick to it now how to do business out of it how to make a life out of it as i have told you you need to decide your area of interest your field your expertise your knowledge your domain area that is what is more important first of all you select your domain area let's say if you are in the field of research you have done something you have some theoretical understanding you have done some practical you have found some economical importance is there if you do it and pursue you to you are going to get out of it just i am giving some example if you are doing phd on life science you are working on developing some different strain of bacteria which are capable to fix nitrogen or va mycorrhiza which is having the microbial association with plants those are the things you can use as a bio fertilizer you can get into a bio fertilizer business model you can develop it like that who are into chemistry or engineering field all software field they can develop some kind of prototype and find out some application and some kind of techno economic feasible report you want to prepare you can prepare it sometimes if you are not sure about what idea you are taking and what idea you are nurturing it there are many literature available you can go through that if you strongly believe that this idea can be implemented you have to prepare some kind of techno economic business proposal it will have few parts one it is the theoretical part the application part maybe prototype development and you can also analyze the market where you are going to do it you need to prepare some kind of technical write up and also the business economics for manufacturing cost prototype development cost and you need to decide your target customer and approach them in various ways the approach can be of personal interaction or this approach can be generalized thing participating in different conferences presenting your ideas going to small business summit where you are presenting your business proposal from your idea so that to attract the business community community you can sell your ideas also or you can start on your own 
there are two ways of thinking it if you feel that you are not in a position to form immediate company you can have tie up with some company or you can sell your technology that is one part you can think of it that's it that is also one type of entrepreneurship probably this if you have ideas many ideas you can make money by selling those ideas and for that you need to have the patents and other things those is, again this is a different subject because if you feel that your idea is unique you definitely need to protect your ideas so that the others cannot copy it you are getting my point licensing there are many things now the question is if you want to start your own company you need to see the possibilities of a team where you want to take your friends your relatives or like minded people you can take make a small company in a registration you can do it and you can have a workplace it you can operate from home also in a small scale when you are nurturing your ideas developing your prototype taking help from small small companies developing the prototype you can have small financial assistance from your home or from different government institute available like msme and other things they are giving money to nurture your idea the first understanding it your idea can be bad idea it our your idea can be good idea that only can be judged once you interact with different companies whoever understand this subject probably you can discuss with them that is going to help you whether this technology can be workable one should not be disheartened if some technology not giving kind of a correct outcome or financial assistance there are many entrepreneurs whoever is successful in present date they have taken many ideas they have taken many ideas out of that maybe one or two is successful it is not a true fact that every entrepreneur whoever comes into the entrepreneurship business are successful we only see the success stories so friends what i am trying to tell over here entrepreneurship is a serious game it is going to give you freedom it is going to give you your idea to nurture and whatever way whichever way you want to express yourself that opportunity you are going to get it so in this process there are struggle there are ups and down and you have to hold your nerves very composed way don't be so frustrated that you are not successful then switching over to job or some other things doing that is not going to help you if you take any entrepreneurship life whoever is successful starting from bill gates to narayan murthy anybody you see in this world their life is not as rosy as you see today right so what i am trying to again tell you we are not talking about the big entrepreneurs whoever is, is reached up to very high level i am talking about the entrepreneurship a small idea to lead your life lead few families if you are able to manage at least from your idea few families and selling your technology to the respective consumers if they are benefited some way that is your success so from my experience i have seen many countries like in uk in germany there are n number of company they are doing business in a very small scale there is a family run business basically they do it but they make very beautiful literature technical write up 
few other things like no but once you go there you see their company is too small but seeing the website seeing the literature you are not able to understand that in which scale they are operating what i am trying to tell you here scientific or technical business running business through your own ideas it 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 doesn't require very big investment only your idea a small setup and your willingness to continue that idea to nurture that much buffer time you need to give at least to reach break even point otherwise things are going to collapse and it will have the cascade effect your frustration level your agony level everything will shoot up so friends again what i am trying to tell you if you have any idea in the field of agriculture or electronics maybe your family is running the traditional business and you become the partner like no family you can hold your hand with your family members to do business agricultural products in a scientific way and that is going to give you additional business benefit that model also one can do it there are many sectors like no poultry dairy agriculture irrigation there are small small instrument which is required for agricultural implement those are open technology that is available it might not be your own technology but you can simply see whether those technologies ideas can be promoted and if you are able to find you some market out of it so please don't be frustrated that that you have a big degree from xyz university you are from very talented very knowledgeable and government of india will come and give you job look you have so many publications so many patents or you have post doctorate from big universities doesn't matter at the end of the day what is important is at the end of the day is if you have the potential to nurture your idea and make your life out of it nothing like that because if you see the government sectors literally job are squeezing it's no jobs if it is like no one is to 500 if there are 500 applicants applicants only one post now you can understand your possibilities and probability and how long and how much talented you wanted to be only god knows to have the entry level so let us not get into those debate even i don't like to get into that debate but what again i'm trying to tell you that opportunities are less but if you wait for that things to come and get a suitable job your time that will go what is more important down the line if you lose to get a job for 15 years to wait to get a job you lose your precious 15 20 years for nothing and this 15 20 years time is your prime time of your life that is what the youth your all energy what is concentrated in between uh, 18 to 35 so whatever things you want to do it you can do that so after that your energy level will go down you won't be able to think in a positive spirit and you will be lethargic so the best time of entrepreneurship once you come out from your college or university you think if you have some good idea great idea talk discuss and government of india also giving lot of opportunities lot of initiative to to search also they are finding that some ideas there are lot of conference lot of seminar lot of exhibition they conducted to search the talent there you can go and meet and present your ideas so friend 
life is not bed of roses don't expect that somebody will come and give a cup of tea in the early morning if you want to become an entrepreneur you should be an independent object you should not depend on entrepreneurship the main ethics is like in tagore says jodi tor dak shune keu na ashe tobe ekla chalo re if nobody is responding you are the person you can go alone so what again i am trying to tell you it is your willingness to continue to take the entrepreneurship path it's a basically journey and if in this process if you are able to be successful and you need to take all those pains then obviously your gains will come and this is your real success and this is after few years you will find yourself that you have that potential you have ability to take those challenges and you have ability to form a team and you want to work as a part of this team you don't like behave like a boss you are part of the team members so it is much more easier for you to execution many things but again point remains unanswered whether you are able to take those challenges or not friends now opportunities are open there are many things many things you want to do it even if you and if you take want to take the agricultural field you can have bio fertilizer in one acre land the money you want to earn i have known my many friends they settled in the us they are into software company they are coming back to their own motherland doing agricultural job irrigation so they are they're doing agriculture in a scientifically they have 10 15 acres land even if it is one acre land also the kind of money the satisfaction they are getting it is enormous so those are entrepreneurs if whoever has taken a very conscious decision they are doing